So this part of the course uh, deals with MySQL once again. This time we're going to program PHP so we can access our databases. So we're going to connect everything that we've done so far. In the first workshop you did your databases on the side. and the second workshop you did your website. Now we're going to connect them. So that's what this module is all about. We will have to go back to our PHP Apache 2.x configuration for that purpose. And that's the first section that you see here, configuring MySQL and PHP. So first, we're going to go through the practical steps to get you up and going so you can program and see the results. And then there will be a second part later on where I'll go through the theory, explain you what this all means. So I'll try to be as clear for now, but uh, there will be uh, more coming up later. Okay. So the first thing that you see here is that Apache needs to access to extensions that come with PHP. So PHP already has a set of drivers, and this word I will explain later on. The drivers are stored in PHP in the place where you installed it or it was installed in your machines. So here you see on the slide that you need to to look for this one file called libmysql.dll and, and you need to to add that to to the to the to the path env environment variable. Okay? So If you look at your PHP installation, it should look something like this. Depends what version it is, it might change. But pretty much PHP starts with a bunch of DLLs and many of them uh, are drivers. A driver is a program that allows PHP to communicate with another piece of software and for that purpose it needs to translate commands or translate instructions or data formats. So you'll see that in, in this folder, in my case it's called PHP 525, in, your, in yours it might be a different name. Okay, PHP. So you'll find that there's uh, things like msql.dll, uh, the one we're looking for in this particular occasion, my, it's called livemysql.dll and there's others. So this one file allows PHP to look for the rest of the files that it needs to look for. This is just like the entry point, like the gateway. And so we need to have a path be reinstalled. So what you need to do now is to go to your control panel Okay, and so you'll see something like this, right? And then you click on administrative tools. No, I'm sorry. You click on system. I'm sorry. You click on system. And in the case of Vista, it might be different on Windows 7. You have to tell me this. You have, yeah. You need to look for something that says advanced system settings or something like that. Okay. If if you need to have administrative uh, permissions, you'll just say yes. Otherwise, if it just goes on without asking. Okay. So you need to arrive to something like this that says system properties. And there should be a button somewhere that says environment variables. Is that close to how it looks in Windows 7? Okay. All right. So bottom line is that you need to go to the section that says system variables. See, that's the one that I have in the, in the bottom here. Mm -hmm. I have two sections, user variables for Enrique or system variables. The difference is that we all have an account in our machines, even if we just are the only ones that use it. So you want to change this for everyone. 
that's, I think that's the best thing to do. So don't change your particular ones because then if somebody else logs in, they won't be able to use it. So instead, look for system variables and look for path. It's the name of, of, a, of an environment variable that's always there. There you go, path. And you need to click edit. And you need to be very careful here. Don't don't mistype anything, or or your system will will not find it. Uh, you need to go to the end of the paths that are already installed, and you need to add the absolute path to your PHP installation, and include the name of livemysql.dll. Okay, so if you notice, this is what I have here. In, in my case, my absolute path is this, c slash users slash Enrique slash testbed slash php2525. You, yours will be different. Yeah. But do add at the end libmysql.dll exactly as I have it. If you're not sure where to look for it, you 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 can go to the Windows Explorer and look in the in PHP 2.525 or whichever the the path is, and you click up here on the oops on the path, and you can copy it. <coughs> you can mark it. You can say Control C to copy it, and then you can go back to your To your environment variable and paste that path to the right to the very end. Notice that you have to add a semicolon before you paste or write that new path and there and there should be no space between the se that semicolon and the new path. If you, if you notice in my case I have this server 5.0 slash bin that was the last thing that I had. I type a semicolon and right next to it, without any spaces, you paste or write your new path. If you type it a space or something else, then <coughs> the system will not find your your DLL. So you need to OK everything now. And that's step number one. Okay. Now step number two. Can we pause sure. The next step is going to be. Now we need to go and patch the uh, the PHP configuration file. So you need to look for PHP dot any any file which would be like this one uh, turn turn on your your file editor and okay I'll say it again The I, I went to the to the next slide, step number two. After you change your path variable, now you need to go to php.ini, I N I. The, uh -huh. That file is going to be on the PHP installation directory, which would be the same one you were looking first for the DLL file. That one you should have. PHP configuration settings, it should say. You see it? So one so once you find the file, you open your editor, and then what we need to do is find this comment that you see on the screen. It says Windows Extensions. So search for that string, that means open your editor, 
and just look for I'll, I'll look for it like this in mine semicolon or just windows extensions see so so there's a section that starts with windows extensions and it has a bunch of notes and then you see a a large list of lines that start with extension equals and then a bunch of different names you'll find four that say extension equals PHP underscore MySQL DLL or PHP underscore MSSQL dot DLL PHP underscore MySQL dot DLL and PHP underscore MySQL I dot DLL so just uncomment those four take up take the semicolon away so so they they now show like I'm showing on the screen right now. Hey, did you find it? It's 941 on my... I have it open in Notepad, but I don't have extensions. Okay, so step number three then. This is also on, on php.ini. You need to look for this flag and let, we'll see if it's there or not. Extension underscore DIR. And then you look for, it must be empty or it must have something like a dot slash and that's it. So you whatever you find there, you replace with the absolute path to your PHP installation slash EXT extensions okay well, that's going to be fun why 1000 line document to find that one line well that's why i i gave you these lines here if you look for directory it's i mean the, the, it it's supposed to say that yeah and in, in the book that's the the version that's in the book says that so now it we have to see if if the version you have in your machines is the same or different but uh, you just search for this string and you should be able to find it. The next step then is to restart the server. So so if you did it once, do it again. <laughs> Sorry Tammy. <laughs> so restart the server. Okay, once the server has started correctly, yeah. then we're going to move on to try the code, okay? So this will I'm going to stop this